Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. I'm Arian Shirani from X the Unicorn and today we are going to create this cool homepage for a fitness trainer for example and we are going to make this cool masking effect with the text trainer. So we are going to use Elementor, Elementor Pro and a third plugin called Dynamico. Dynamico it's really a cool plugin that I really love because they allow you to have multiple options on Elementor and one of those are the masking option and now we are going to see in this video how to use it. So first of all as you can see in my plugin page you have Dynamico, Elementor and Elementor Pro. I'm always using the team called Hello Team that you can find in the description and of course you can find all the plugins in the description of this video. So let's start right away. I'm going to add a new page like this and I'm going to call it Home Trainer and add it with Elementor. Great, I'm going here on the settings and I will actually make the page layout Elementor full width or in this case let's do it Elementor canvas so that I won't have any default heading and footer. Great, now we have a blank page and now I'm going to click on this plus button and add a structure. I'm also going to duplicate this column like this and on the left side I will add an image for the logo. So I'm going to click on this icon here, image, click on choose image and here I will drag and drop my logo like this, great and insert media. The logo is actually white so I'm going to change this uh, page to a black background. So click on settings, go on style and background type, click on classic and then the color I will make it black. Great! So now I also going to add a menu here. Of course to add a menu you need to create one so let's create a menu first. So I'm going to publish the page right away. Let's get back to WordPress. Let's get on appearance, menus, create a new one very quickly called trainer. Great, and now I'm going to add some custom links because I don't have any page. Great, once you added your pages or custom link in my case, I'm going to save the menu and I will go back to my pages. Home trainer, here is it. Add it with Elementor. Nice. Now I'm going to change the section before starting to add my menu. Click on that and just click on here and I will make it full width. Of course I need to click on my image again and alignment. Click on left so it's on the left side and on the right side I will add my menu. So just click on the plus button here and search for menu. You can also type it here and then you will find nav menu, I drag and drop it here. As you can see we have a menu here, I will select the training menu, so the trainer one that I just made and as you can see there is everything. So I'm going to change the pointer to known and I'm going to click on style and just very quickly change the text color and edit the typography. So I'm going to use like poppins for example and then transform uppercase and I guess that we can use this like that and change the size of the menu. I guess this it's okay and of course we can go on content and here great so once you make that we can also now uh, change again the section here so instead of full width we can make a boxed one and just you know make it less wide like this Great, I'm going to click on the first column and then a vertical alignment in the middle and the second column vertical alignment in the middle too and let me check how it looks, it looks great. Maybe we are also going to change the section uh, height, so click on the section height and mean height and of course we can reduce this like 
that great before building the page we are going on adobe illustrator just you know create your text you can do whatever you want in my case is train and then i'm going to click on this arrow here be sure you select your word object expand and let's click on ok great now we have our object that will be used as the element for masking the image so just click on this element go and change the color to white you won't be able to see anything but file and then export export as and here i will export this as train dot svg just click here and you can of course find svg here so export and then click ok great now i'm going back to my page i'm going to click on this plus button this first structure and then I'm going to click on this icon here and search for SVG and as you can see with Dynamico you have a ton of other options so of course if you want to download this plugin I remember you in the description of the video you can find the link then I'm going to select SVG image mask and I'm going to select it drag and drop it here like that as you can see the plugin already giving you some type of mask like triangle a circle and whatever you can even make your custom path but in my case I'm going to select image so with image selected I'm going to choose the image by clicking here and I'm going to actually drag and drop the train SVG that we just made with Illustrator so I'm going to click on it drag and drop it here great insert media and as you can see now we have our word train now the only thing we need to do is to replace this image here so I'm going to click on this and then get back to my folder and I have a picture that I downloaded from Pexel so you can use whatever you want and get back to the page drag and drop it here and then once it's loaded insert media and here you are make sure the image size is on full so the quality of the image is the best one great now I'm going to change the view box clicking on view box of course and the width and the height I will change the height of course let me try what's happened so you can actually change the view box how you want the max width you can change this by you know uh, dragging and dropping this so there is a lot of option that you can use of course there is a lot of spacing on the top and on the bottom of this so we are going to uh, fix everything so I'm going to remove this so I have the full width and then uh, I'm also going to remove some uh, margins on the top and on the bottom. I click on the percentage. This may need to be unlocked, as you can see. And on the top, I'm going to make this like that. And on the bottom, same thing like this. Let me check. Now it looks awesome. And then, of course, I'm going to add some text on the top of this. So I'm going to click on this plus button here, click on this structure. And uh, I'm going to click also on this uh, icon here to get all the widgets and select heading, drag, drag and drop it here. Great style, make it white. Amazing typography, pop ins like always. And then I'm going to change a little bit of the text size the weight it's okay transform uppercase and then I will play a little bit with the spacing of it like this of course before playing with the spacing we should add uh, the content in our case I will add start your train in this case start your and then I will play of course now with the style and click on typography again and change the letter spacing as you want. So I'm going to type some custom value, let's make it 90 and then you can just drag and drop and of course you will fix uh, as you wish. And I'm also going uh, to add some padding to the top. So uh, with this section selected, advanced, uh, percentage, remove this and start you know, adding your spacing. Great, so if I click here now, we have our uh, home page like this. Of course, you can set it better. Of course, we need to check the mobile version. So I'm going clicking here and click on this responsive mobile and click on this icon. As you can see in the responsive version, we need, just need to quickly fix this. Uh, so first column, 50%, the second one, we can do it 50%. 
and of course I'm not doing uh, this uh, editing right now I'm going to see how to create this so I'm going to click this one and of course you need to change this for the mobile version so I'm trying you know maybe on 12 in this case and then you have your train word here and if I close this you still have your home page set it up also on mobile so let's quickly fix anyway the header so in the header I usually go on the first column advanced I just remove this by clicking on that and of course I just add a percentage to this uh, and on the left here I going to add some padding same thing for this one you can click on this column advanced click on this to unlock and of course uh, I usually click on this little icon here to edit this menu as you can see it's broken so click on this just go on style check the, the icon color so a toggle button in this case color white okay and then on content uh, you are able uh, to change this to full width so that when I click on it uh, you get the full width and that's fixed so very quickly, very easy. And now if I click here, I can see my cool homepage. And of course here will add all your other content, other stuff. Great. So I hope that the tutorial was useful, guys. Let's save this, of course, update and check it. And here we are. This is the final result. I hope the video was useful. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Notification bell if you want to be updated. And of course, if you want to download the plugins, just check the description of this video. See you in the next one. Bye.